Hi, I'm Caroline, and I just finished my PhD in June 2022 in quantum information theory. Those of you who are doing a PhD know that the process is incredibly challenging, but also incredibly rewarding. Uh, you learn a lot and you struggle a lot, and there are some PhD survival tips which I would love to share with you today. The first of these is getting unstuck in research. So everyone knows in their PhD that being stuck is a normal part of the process. Everyone gets stuck in whatever they're doing. If it's your laser that's broken or your calculation that won't work, everyone spends a lot of time banging their head against the wall in the PhD, and I have certainly done my fair share of that. And the first thing that I would love to share that I learned is that it's so important to just calculate all the different things you can and try every avenue. Think of all the things that you can do on your own and, and don't just give up, you know, when you, when you have, you know, your first thing that doesn't work. Don't lose hope there. Just keep going. Um, until, of course, you start to feel really, really, really stuck. And then it's time to get help. And that's what I learned early on as well, that don't be afraid to ask questions and don't be afraid to ask help especially from people you trust. Hopefully there's a collaborator or your supervisor that you know you feel comfortable to talk to about whatever problem it is. And go to a whiteboard, try to get some fresh input from them, um, and also just to think about your ideas together. And hopefully, like I've had a few times where I really just solved my problem on the whiteboard with someone else, just with a listening ear. Um, but sometimes you're not just stuck and your problem isn't just a small problem, but it's really a dead end then you need some fresh inspiration and some new ideas. And my favorite thing to do in this time is just to go to conferences, which are fun for other reasons as well. But it's also the perfect time to talk to new people and, and get some fresh input from people who have, think about things in a completely different way from everyone that you know, because they're just new to you. Um, and so at these conferences, it's a great time to just explore that new path and use that time to get excited again and eventually you will get unstuck. So the next thing that I'd like to talk about is kind of related point, which is getting inspiration. Staying inspired in your PhD is a bit of an uphill battle. Inspiration is not linear and it just goes up and down with the weather and also everyone struggles with it, so don't forget that. Um, but the tip that I have to give you is read a lot of papers and just don't let yourself get sucked into those details. The details are really important to actually finishing your PhD and, and having your project be really you know, well thought out and technically accurate and all of that. But at the same time, when you get stuck, you might lose inspiration if you just look at those details. Because when you read papers, you really start to understand the field as a whole. You start to understand who to connect to, which conferences to go to, and also which questions you're actually interested in answering. So you start to understand which topics are the ones you'd like to work on. This also brings me to point number two, which is if, there's, um, if you actually know which topic you'd like to work on, you'll be able to formulate a project of your own. And when you're actually genuinely interested in the project that you're working in, you will probably be happier and do a much better job. So definitely ask questions, ask all of the stupid questions to try to figure out which topics you're interested in and understand those super well. And that will hopefully really help you with staying inspired. And the last tip is about staying healthy both physically and mentally, it's just so important to take care of yourself. The PhD is not a sprint, it's a marathon, really. And so one thing that I did that was really stupid was just surviving off of coffee for the first six months of my PhD. And I really felt it and was not sleeping enough. So it's very important physically just to get those, those routines in and you know, eat your vegetables and drink water, not only coffee, um, sleep enough, you know, get routine sleep and feel happy in your body because everything is connected. And of course, the other really important part is mental health. Everyone has a mental health that they probably struggle with at some point. And it's something that I think we should all be talking about more as a community, really. So I certainly struggled with mental health. Some of the things that I learned about dealing with in my PhD were self-doubt, insecurities, and also negative self-talk. And I learned how to deal with them in certain ways. First of all, I actually learned some techniques in positive self-talk. So maybe you're struggling with a problem and you keep making the same mistake or you know you broke your laser. You know, there's no point getting frustrated. There's th this, this, it, it may, imagine you have this voice in your head that's saying, oh, you're so stupid, why did you do this? The one thing that I learned is that you really should just try to first of all turn this to neutral. 
you know, this anger or this negative voice in your head is not helping you with your work or your happiness or anything. And the other thing that was leading to this self-talk sometimes was comparing myself to others. And I think this is just a terrible thing to do in general. Uh, don't count other people's papers or like compare their age index to yours. There is no point at all. Every PhD journey is really unique and you're learning so much. So the best that you can do is to take care of yourself and do the things that make you happy. And hopefully at the end of the day, you'll finish your PhD happy with what you did and feeling healthy at the same time. I hope that these tips were helpful and resonate a little with you and good luck on your PhD journey.